That's the intro right there. All right, guys, so this is the very first day uh, kind of after friends and family, so it's Monday. And we got a lot of prep going on today and tomorrow. But to start things off, I'm going to start the fire, and uh, you guys know the routine. we got to maximize these flavors, especially as this restaurant opens. Trimming cloths is easy. The hardest part is getting the plastic off. Yeah, my tip, and this is just a tip, not everybody has to do this, but I prefer trimming meat with the plastic taken off. But that's mm. just me. Not everybody's like that. Most people don't, you know? Yeah, most people don't. Yeah. They like to do it so they hold together better. <laughs> that's why I live. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't even feel good about Now, did you just take it like, like that? Yeah. yeah. That's just me. What's up, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> See, he's ready. He's ready. No. <laughs> Take away from me. How do I do that? Just that button right there. This one? Yep. Alright guys, so that was the end of day one. Uh, so a lot of stuff today was a lot of trim and especially now that it's a restaurant, plan to be open for lunch and dinner at a much higher quantity, you know, a lot more trimming. So I think for us, we're just trying to get in, figure out how we want to do it, how to utilize the space best, and then probably next week, uh, we'll bring in some of the guys who are new to the team and be able to show them how uh, to do it as well. Right now, it's taking baby steps to make sure we know where everything goes, how to maximize our space, how to be as efficient as possible. And come tomorrow morning, we'll be doing some cooks on a new pit. Went and opened with Cole today, and so we're just talking about working this new smoker and things that we're noticing, because it doesn't matter where you get your smoker from, doesn't matter how expensive it is, nope. you gotta figure it out. So Pretty much, uh, kind of messed with the damper a little bit today, had it wide yeah. open, closed it about halfway, didn't change nothing with the door. It's a good old machine, I think it'll take some time to kind of work out figure its, it out, its right? kinks, yeah, yeah, but it'll it'll get there. You get to be in a YouTube video. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's easy to do it too. Pull one side down, yeah, and then oh, yeah. 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 It's totally how about yeah. 12 hours, 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. Team, these are the smaller ones. I think I may keep these up here, and I'll rotate these bigger ones. I, I think I think taking that fluffy fat down. You kind of peel it off that way, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And and really, I think taking it all the way down. I notice it when that cold. Yeah, I understand that. I think it's going to be like this today, and I think it's going to be like this tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah, as well, yeah. yeah. We just noticed how long the door is hotter than the wall. Yeah. I think that might be because, like, when I was looking at this, like, the change is not that big. I think the most valuable takeaway probably is trimming the heart. Chuck is good. It's really good. I'm still trying to dial it in, like, Tomorrow I'm gonna build the fire up several hours before and let it burn down and have a fucking so ripping fire. Yeah. Yes. That's fine. As long as you know that. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. I mean, like, I think we can put full size logs in there and just build a fire. Yeah. Because we're, we're again we're thinking it based off of putting the grill brick in a fire box. Yeah, have, exactly. This is my partner in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying about top? Just cutting the top and the bottom of it, yeah. just so we're not hitting that spot. And then also just go by feel at that point when it's getting close. I would say if it hits the temperature, then I think we're ready to get, we're good to go. Yeah. Or if it's like, maybe it's a little bit behind, but maybe it needs a little more heat from that oil boat to kind of push it through. We 
got some stuff up, dude. Bro. Yeah. Not a lot, but enough to make me feel like we're okay. Even though we're doing certain things by temp. Yeah. Get a feel for what it feels like it tugs like a thermometer and also like especially something like this where it's in foil, you kind yeah. of give it a squeeze. After I got an idea and a feel for it, all the ones that were still in there, I could kind of pick up and kind of sort quickly like, oh, this is too yeah. tight and boom, 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 and just move it to the right yeah. spot. Uh, you're gonna tap those flat irons out there if you want. That one, I don't think we can necessarily do on feel as much as these, but as you kind of get close to this stage, you can kind of get a better feel. Yeah, because already earlier, you, you, feel, you feel the tug. Yeah, the so like, yeah, you go into that last door. Uh, there are a couple in there, I rotated some around just a little bit. The way that we cranked up the heat in the end, I think I think that's the way to yeah, go right now. Yeah, yeah. We're just kind of in that normal stage of learning how to cook, you know, the same proteins that, you know, you might do anywhere else and then you get a new smoker and now you're dealing with volume and things like that. So things are a little bit different. And there's a couple things that I think are attributing it. The weather, it's really windy outside today. The hot spots are really different than um you know the old pit Just learning those tweaks to make sure that the food is consistent i don't doubt that the food is going to be good tomorrow it's just taking a lot longer uh, than we expect to but trying to find the right temp range that works for this pit in my opinion going to be the focus for this week but yeah uh, it's been an interesting day to say the least of trying to cook on a new pit so it's part of the process that's why i love barbecue i think it's fun to figure this out as you kind of go All right, guys, so we're about to start the closing shift on a Saturday at Leroy and Lewis. Uh, the morning guys actually set us up really well, so there's not too much uh, cooking that I can show you guys, but um, today is really focused on getting one of our new pit guys kind of trained up, doing the smaller things like pulling sausage, a little bit of fire management, especially with the direct pit and the coals for the hog, uh, and just showing them some little stuff. But yeah, this is what's like working the closing shift at Leroy and Lewis. Yeah, we're cooking things a little bit hotter and faster. It's here. To the back wall, all the back wall, all that area back there, and probably up to this line. Everything that's kind of close to the floor, probably like two burgers worth, here to here is kind of like the, the cooler spot. We're going to these low and slow. Correct, yeah, close to the door. All right, so we find that these two are way ahead, and those are like way behind. So then we'll come back, yeah, we'll just switch them so hopefully they'll finish roughly at the same time. But Let's say if this one's really, really close, we'll just let this one finish and then bring that up to the hot spot afterwards. The one thing I don't want to do is like, those are sitting there back the entire time. It's like way too small. We're going to be here for a couple extra hours just to get that. Yeah. So let's make sure, let's get some, like right here, we were see that little blank spot. So right now, because it's already at 225, we'll leave this door open. And then like as it starts to cool down and I can slowly close the door, uh, close the door down so we can narrow on that open time. But it'll coat the brisket and it won't allow the salt to stick. So we just want to make sure it's nice and mixed up. Yeah. Rub all done? Yeah, you want to bring it out? No, no, the uh, the chuck one can stay inside there because we don't really have space for it. And just put it in that box, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, next week when we cold smoke sausage, because I heard that uh, some some people say put 12 to a bag and some say eight. There's a mix of both. So okay, next so week, we yeah. It. Ooh, buddy. So you can temp it, and you should if you're unsure of yourself. But this is the kind of like. I mean, I know that look, yeah. you know, and it's so like, it just wants to pop. Exactly, it's like when that, it's like pressing against a casing. Feel this one, this one's even tighter than that other one, but both of them are done, Oh yeah. right? Yeah. So this is where we want it to be. Now, if you go in and temp every single one, it's just gonna deflate. This, we can, how's that even? I'm still confused. It'll go like one, uh, cook for 150, 160 for about 
three to five hours. It just kind of depends how consistent you are with those temps. You do want to temp some of them just to make sure, but more and more you cook it, you can do the pull off the fur, like the cold smoke. You can do that by feel too. Like it'll, you'll know that's like, all right, that's about 160 ish feel for a pork sausage and a beef sausage and things like that. So let's run this up to the front. I'm going to grab this last chuck steak so that's in there and uh, I'll meet you there. All right, sweet. I got a pretty. Yeah. All right, great. So I give him a poke and let me know what you think. That's right. Oh, yeah, this is real nice. Great. Nice. Hell uh, yeah. Busy, exciting. A lot of small things. Oh, here. I'll tell them. Hey, uh, don't fire that. Sorry. Don't fire it. We're just comping some. Uh, Can I take away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just finished our first week. We had our first manager's meeting. How do you yeah. feel going to week two? You know, I feel really good going into week two. Um, Honestly, the the team has been what has been the linchpin. Each person has stepped up, done an incredible job, has taken ownership, has been accountable, has had a eye on detail. Guests in the neighborhood, neighbors are very happy to have yeah, us here. Yeah. It's been really cool and interesting to see how many people have come out who have never been to the truck before. Yeah. Shockingly, and they're all a lot of them were locals too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel great. I feel really good going into week two. I'm gonna get some rest on Monday. Well, you were here yeah. earlier with their new early new prep team. team. Yep, and I had got to a lot of stuff before we got here. I had to meet everybody and direct four different people to do everything in a different language. So, awesome. that's a restaurant yeah. right there, though. That's what it all is. All right, man. let's get it. Let's do it. Week two. <laughs>